Matthew 9, verses 18 through 34. Just a touch. As he finished saying this, a local official appeared, bowed politely, and said, My daughter has just now died. If you come and touch her, she will live. Jesus got up and went with him, his disciples following along. Just then a woman who had hemorrhaged for twelve years slipped in from behind and lightly touched his robe. She was thinking to herself, If I can just put a finger on his robe, I'll get well. Jesus turned, caught her at it. Then he reassured her. Courage, daughter. You took a risk of faith, and now you're well. The woman was well from then on. By now they had arrived at the house of the town official and pushed their way through the gossips looking for a story and the neighbors bringing in casseroles. Jesus was abrupt. Clear out. The girl isn't dead. She's sleeping. They told him he didn't know what he was talking about, but when Jesus had gotten rid of the crowd, he went in, took the girl's hand, and pulled her to her feet. Alive. The news was soon out and traveled throughout the region. Become what you believe. As Jesus left the house, he was followed by two blind men crying out, Mercy, son of David, mercy on us. When Jesus got home, the blind men went in with him. Jesus said to them, Do you really believe I can do this? They said, Why, yes, Master. He touched their eyes and said, Become what you believe. It happened. They saw. Then Jesus became very stern. Don't let a soul know how this happened. But they were hardly out the door before they started blabbing it to everyone they met. Right after that, as the blind men were leaving, a man who had been struck speechless by an evil spirit was brought to Jesus. As soon as Jesus threw the evil, tormenting spirit out, the man talked away just as if he'd been talking all his life. The people were up on their feet applauding. There's never been anything like this in Israel. The Pharisees were left sputtering. Hocus pocus. It's nothing but hocus pocus. He's probably made a pact with the devil.